So the Lord began to play in my heart. Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? Because that's what he called it, shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So I moved through and got to the end and I didn't feel like asking anybody for anything. So I asked the Lord, how did you preserve me? He said, my comfort. When you hear comfort, what does he mean? Somebody that is, is, is grieving or bereaved, right? And so that day I needed to learn that when the dimension changes, words mean different things. That you don't need to grieve before it brings you comfort. So he told me that in the valley of the shadow of death, the meaning of comfort is the consciousness of preservation because of a presence. That no matter, uh, some of them were haggard looking women with sharp eyelashes, naked. But virtually all of them will go home with a man. Are you with me? Some families' salaries for last month ended on that day because it was the last working day of the month. The wisdom that we were taught when we were young was not to look at the eyes of an adulterous woman because the eyes will, will haunt your soul. It will enslave your soul. A haggard woman merchandises more than a body. Spirit. He said, but the reason why you could walk through them was that my comfort was in place. I overwhelmed you with my presence. And what that presence did was that he took away the consciousness of possible harm. If you walk through there 10 times, you'll be standing because my rod and my staff have comforted you. The definitions are changing. What do you know about this new place? And in case you have stumbled on new knowledge, what are you doing are new? Because the dynamics of your existence have shifted. Ha! Help us. Help us. Don't waste your time on YouTube now. Don't waste your time on YouTube. I mean, just listen to everybody. But in case you want to waste time like that, you will see that there are gaps. Even mega conferences do not cure hearts from the depravity that seeks to defend to define our land that the fact that people came does not take from us the de demonstrations of our descent in God that's why those who are still being helped must cry the reason why even the mighty are bulking is because the definitions of strength have been altered now that's the only reason so you could be strong yesterday but if the weights that define the territory are stronger, it means that you cannot survive today. You may be for the unity of the body of Christ yesterday. Today you might be divisive. Are you with me? You may be standing at the gates to make sure that corruption should not enter the body of Christ yesterday. I'm saying that with what is currently in our space, you could be an enemy of Christ today. From Christian to Antichrist within a space of 24 hours. It is possible now. So we must find the new definitions of strength. There is a place where the new definitions are being taught. It's not in open space. Every man must escape. 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 Find a way to run from the face of men. And to sit with God again. Because <laughs> ah, with him is our strength. Aleheso so far higher. And I will lift up my eyes to the east. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. The Lord with made heaven and earth. He said, 
he will not suffer thy foot thy foot to be moved the Lord who keepeth thee he will not slumber nor sleep oh Lord the Lord is my keeper the Lord is my ship come on
flight let that which seeks to overwhelm let that which seeks to ground come in very highest I was designed for flight I was designed to soar
listen I, I was sharing with my wife this afternoon I said I have only three prayer points and all of them are built into the supply of life give life to my spirit <laughs> give life to my soul give life to my body that's all I want man was designed only to post in the possession of life give me life if you came to church tonight and you can sense the dryness you have begun to struggle can you ask for life give me life give me life understand my prayer point Acts chapter 10 now this is not what I came to do but <laughs> Acts chapter 10 keep me from the ninth verse he said I'll just paraphrase the story amen amen if somebody still praying beside you just tap them ah. now what is the proof of life who knows the proof of life is what Consciousness, consciousness. Somebody say consciousness. If you stop being aware, it means that you are dead. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm going to pull out my prayer point from here. It's the same prayer point. But when Paul was given the privilege to share in, um, in Galatians 2.20, John, what he said was, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ. That Paul's testimony was not, but Christ is in me. His testimony was of the experience of the living Christ. When you say that Christ is alive in you, it means that your life is a testimony of his influences. That if you feel, why are you always like this? It will be because there is, and you know, when it comes to living, it means that Christ moves in me. He speaks in me. He relates with things in me. And my life is a feedback of his living experience. Many times that living experience is trapped in the human spirit. The soul knows nothing about it because the soul reasons outside his life are you with me many times the body operates away from the consciousness that Christ is alive in you that you do things that people who don't have Christ would do and you do them with such great ease there is no fight that the enemy does not see it as a hard work to make you journey from consecrated thoughts. Am I speaking to someone? You can start with the Bible and it does not take 30 seconds to, to, to see vested in your spirit and well accommodated and immoral thought. When we get to that point, what we cry for is life. There is no doubt that, you know, you can be speaking in tongues and still be like that. It means that there's life in your spirit, but a has locked that life into your spirit your soul is no longer aware it means the soul can be dead even when the spirit is alive 
the allocation of spirit life was gifted to the total man not just to the human spirit i'm going to say that again that god's allocation for life towards you is gifted to the total man and according to scriptures man is spirit soul and body what we likely merchandise is christ in the spirit the soul is not aware that you are even in christ and if as long as the soul is not aware it means that the body will not bring witness we think that the not of god is so that we can do big things the word exploits in that rendition from daniel never in any generation meant miracles never because the context was not miracle working it advertised that there was an invader that was coming and the bible said that his two was going to be sweet words like you see everywhere with flattery he will corrupt as many as have done wickedly against the covenant so what he was going to use flattery to do was to corrupt men but they that know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits how does miracles have to do with corruption the word exploits there in other translations is they that know their god shall be strong and they shall resist him he means a season will come when resistance against corruption will be equal to exploits because most men will be weakened into corruption so the men who stand they will see them as mighty men because fallen men do miracles yes sometimes it's not the strength of the minister it's the, it's the desperation of the people and because we don't have accurate lenses we think every time it moves it's because the minister is strong even forsaken ministers still see miracles under their watch even forsaken ministers still see they still come into finances because your derangement does not quench finance are you with me the people under you may still be committed to god even when you have been moved out of place so their commitment will still make the ministry have a lot of money finance is not proof crowd is not proof the largeness is not proof sometimes it's people's faithfulness it's not the minister's faithfulness you can't even build it on personal supplies people give to me people give to you because god lays it in their heart to give to you and your your abundance is proof of their own obedience not your own you need right lenses a minister's strongest witness is of a duality one is the witness of the spirit and it's possible when you have gone out of line not to be able to hear the witness of the spirit so god decided to to give you his word when you read scriptures you should be able to find out that you have missed it in case you can't hear the spirit again i was sharing in Oshobo yesterday i said that when god replaced eli do you know that god warned eli i don't mean it's not recorded though i mean within that samuel first samuel three story do you know that three times god warned eli eli had descended below a level of consciousness that he could not even sense god's warning when was the last time god called someone when was the last time that samuel had a dream where he heard his name called if Eli was conscious, the first time God called Samuel and Samuel went to him, Pastor Diola, to say, Sir, you called me. Eli should have known God has moved. That was his warning. He came the second time, he came the third time. What did Eli tell him? If he calls again, because Eli knew that he had ended. When you have people around you, sometimes, what God does to stir you up is that he gives them visions about themselves but he, he locks the interpretation so that they come to you. So somebody wakes up and says, I saw that my works were gathered together and they were put on a scale but I didn't see the value. So what does it mean? It's your message. It's not his own. It's not his own. I saw that many of us were laboring and then we got, I'm, I'm just giving an example because some of you think that Oh, as long as they still come to me for interpretation it means that I'm high no the reason why they are coming to you is because God said go to him is because you can no longer hear it yourself 
so your dream was dreamt by another person and brought to you to interpret and sometimes all that a leader does is oh what it means is so Nathan needs to say you are the one 